Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Anirudha, Victor Uniform number 3, Foxtrot, Mike Lima. In the last video, we saw an all star node using a modified Baofeng 888 and a modified sound card CM108. And it looked something like this. Here are the insides, and this is the modified Baofeng, and this is the modified CM108. And we used a Raspberry Pi 4 model B to make this node. Now you saw in this video that this could be a little bit challenging because you need to modify the Baofeng, which involves some soldering to SMD components. Also, there is some very challenging soldering to be done to the CM108 sound card. It also involves SMD components and you need to remove some, you need to do some connections to SMD components and it could be challenging for some, including me. I'm not too good at soldering and not at all to handle SMD components. But like I said, if I could do it, you can too. But there were a few people who talked with me and they said that this is a bit difficult so is there a way to, you know, make an all-star node without much of modification? And so I decided to make a radio-less all-star node. This is how it looks. So this is a very small uh, container uh, with a speaker on it and a mic connected to it and it is powered by a battery bank. This is what it looks on the inside. So, I've used Raspberry Pi 0 2W for this particular node. This is the first time I was using the 0 2W. They are very difficult to get. And then there is the CM108. Uh, connected to it using an adapter. This is, I think, the OTG adapter. It is powered by a battery bank uh, using a micro USB jack. Uh, there is a volume knob over here using a potentiometer. And there are a few components. Uh, I will show the schematic in a moment. Uh, of course, the design is not mine. I will uh, show the website from where I um, I re referred to this particular design. Now, this involves some modification to the CM108, but not that much. Here you can see the connectors are intact. So that removes half of the difficulty because it was the most difficult for, part for me to remove these connectors. This uh, particular scheme does not require to remove these uh, connectors and there are just a couple of uh, points where you need to solder on them. And it does involve removing uh, the R6 resistor. I have also removed the R7, uh, but the plan says just to remove the R6. So I've done that. And this is pretty easy to remove. And there are these two points uh, that needs to be soldered again, the PTT and COS, if you saw the last video. But these are not so difficult to do. These two are very difficult to do and it may potentially damage the CM108 because the, the soldering pads get uprooted, the tracks may get uprooted if you apply excess heat. So this, is, this, this was comfortable. And since I'm using the Raspberry Pi, 0.2 W. Um, the size of the node is very small, and I plan to use this um, uh, this node in my car. So it will be a mobile node, and the connectivity is uh, using the hotspot of uh, my mobile. So uh, just to give some uh, more points regarding this uh, is that. For a uh, Raspberry Pi 2W to work, uh, you need to, uh, first of all, burn the 
image into the SD card. And this is what I did. It's uh, not the only way. Probably you can try different ways, but this is what I did. I burned the image into the SD card. Then I removed, uh, I, I took that SD card and put it into Raspberry Pi 3 or it was 4B. Uh, one of uh, the Raspberry Pis with LAN port on it. Uh, I put that SD card into it uh, and then booted. And then I updated uh, the Hamvoip uh, software. And after that, I configured the Wi Fi um, with my uh, mobile that I was going to use as a hotspot. So these are the two steps that I did first. Then I removed the SD card from that uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 3 or 4, I don't remember. And then I put uh, the card into the Raspberry Pi 202W. Um, I think the files need to be updated before you put the card into it. And secondly, since this does not have a LAN port, I, I wanted a headless way to sort of configure the the Wi-Fi settings into it. So this is how I did and uh, it worked. So there could be different ways. I, I'm not sure if you want to advise, please do so in the comments if there are other ways of doing the same. But this is what I did. Uh, another thing is that this, uh, this node requires an amplifier. So this is the one uh, that I've used. Uh, I will put uh, the exact model name. I don't remember right now. Uh, so this is the one uh, that works on 5 volts. So this is the one that I use and this will drive the speaker uh, that that is installed on the top. Uh, I used uh, the Elinco mic EMS57. It is an 8 pin uh, microphone. Uh, it has got DTMF on it. So good to enter uh, DTMF codes. Uh, so this is the 8-pin um, uh, pin socket uh, and then it's connected uh, to different points which we'll see in the schematic. Let me quickly show the, the schematic. whiskeymike4b.wiki.com The author is uh, whiskeymike4b and he has written some notes over here and if you go here and look at the schematic. That's the one that I have referred to uh, in uh, making this node. Referring to the circuit diagram, here you can see. So uh, the yellow one that goes through, I didn't have a single 68 microfarad, so I've made it using, uh, uh, using uh, capacitors. The that signal goes into the, the ring uh, of this pink connector. Uh, then the red one is the PTT. So it goes into the circuit uh, where I showed before. Um, all these uh, black and gray wires are different grounds. So they are connected to a single point on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this uh, prevents ground loops uh, and it prevents the, uh, how do you say, the audio hums, so to speak. So they are connected to a single point. This is the power supply, 5 volts, both are 5 volts. Uh, one is given to the audio amplifier and the other goes to the circuit. And then there are these two connections, pin 13 and pin uh, 48. Uh, so. Uh, that that goes into the circuit as well, like we saw earlier. Uh, this is, like I said, a micro USB port uh, connected to the battery bank. What else? Uh, this is the volume. So the output of the audio amplifier goes through the vo uh, the potentiometer, a 10k potentiometer, uh, to the speaker that's connected on top. So, and then I've I've just used the the COS indicator, I have not drilled a hole. Uh, I just took it out and and sort of taped it here. You can do better, of course. 
and then i've used uh, some ferrite beads i don't know how much they will be useful but i've i've uh, installed them uh, one at the mic and one at the at the input uh, the 5 volt uh, from the battery bank uh, so that's it really it's a very simple node to make and definitely you can make it um and i will uh, put a, a a short clip in the end about how it sounds and all um the second thing is that um i use the node remote app on my android phone so which helps me to connect and uh, disconnect to various nodes and uh uh it's very convenient uh, so my plan is to keep this entire node the radio less node into my car uh by the way since i'm using the mobile as my hotspot i cannot forward the ports so for this particular nodes it's only possible to connect outbound connections so i'm able to connect to different nodes but uh other people may not be able to connect to my node which is fine uh so configured this for ecolink so i will be able to connect to different ecolink nodes as well so overall this works very good and it's very simple to make uh and you should definitely uh try it so uh, that's it really uh do check out my other videos uh thank you for watching other videos uh but if you have not still subscribed to my channel i request you to do so thank you very much until next time i will say 73s this is victor uniform number 3 fox trot michael lima over the all star uh, mobile over and i ani victor uniform 3 fox trot Mike Lima. This is Whiskey 4 Kilo Whiskey Sierra in Key West, Florida. How are you doing, sir? Back to you. Hey, thank you very much for coming back to my call. Uh, uh the name is Ani, you rightly said, Alpha November India, and I'm speaking from India. I just made an all-star node and I've installed it in my car. and i was testing it uh, so i just saw your uh, node active and uh, gave a call uh, thank you for coming back to my call over to you this is victor uniform number 3 fox trot mike lima okay well thank you very nice to meet you thank you for stopping by uh yes our nodes are very active so uh 73s from florida in the usa uh and uh hopefully we can work in the future Uh, best wish wishes to you and your family. Victor Uniform 3 Fox Mike Lima Whiskey 4 Kilo Whiskey Sierra Clear. 73 is my friend. 73 is thank you for the short call. Thank you. 73 is bye. Good afternoon. The time is 1 p.m.